Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be doing something a little bit new, but something I'm super, super excited about. If you watched a vlog that I did, oh, I think it was early January, I talked about the fact that I wanted to start doing an everyday makeup drawer. So this is a concept that I've completely stolen from one of my favorite YouTubers called Paige Corrin. I'll link her down below and if she has a playlist with these videos, I'll link that as well. The idea is that every so often, so probably every six to eight weeks, I select a load of my makeup and I put it in my everyday makeup drawer. And then the rule is, other than when I'm doing some kind of video, for that period of time, the only products I'm allowed to use are the products that are in that drawer. And the idea is that it means that I can make sure I'm really using everything that's in my collection and I can report back to you guys and give you a more in-depth review of what I think of the products because at the moment, I don't know about you, but with lockdown, I am not wearing makeup every day. And I found that when I was wearing makeup, I kept going for the same products every single time. And there were things in my collection that were just getting truly neglected that I was still excited about, but I just never got round to. So the idea of this drawer means that when I'm selecting my products, I can put in a couple of favorites, a couple of tested and true, and then some products that I just wouldn't normally get round to. And then I have to stick to those products for sort of six to eight weeks and I fully test them out. So when I I mentioned that in my vlog you said that you'd be really interested in me doing a separate video where I report back on the products that I've been using and I show you the new products that I've picked out so that is what I've done I've recorded the footage already I'm hoping it's going to turn out okay because it was some weird camera angles and like weird lighting angles um so hopefully it's turned out as good as possible, as good as possible, as best as possible. Hopefully it's worked out, basically. <laughs> but I'm gonna run you through all the products that I've been using for the past sort of six to eight weeks, and I'm gonna show you what I've picked out. And in me picking out the products, I'll be showing you a little bit of how I store my makeup and sort of a bit of an overview of what makeup I have. So I hope you love the sound of that as much as I do. I love these kind of videos. I watch pages every single time. I love anything to do with makeup. So if you do enjoy this video, please let me know because I will turn this into a bit of a series and do this regularly if it is something that you do enjoy. So please give me some feedback in the comments because I'd love to hear it. So without any further rambling, let's get on and see what's in my drawer. So let me just give you a really quick breakdown tour of how the drawer is looking at the moment. Ignore this section here. This is my like lip balms, lip scrubs, that kind of thing. They don't belong there, but I haven't found a new home for them just yet. So for now they stay here. In this section here, I've got eyeshadow palettes, some really dirty looking sponges that need cleaning. So let's just put them out of the way. I've got setting powders and an eye primer. Then in this section, I've got my bronzers, blushes, highlights. Over here, I've got foundations, a primer, setting sprays, and a lipstick that just doesn't fit. And in this little sort of um, lipstick holder, I've got concealers, mascaras, um, and many, many, many lip products. So I'm gonna show you a really quick breakdown of everything that's in here and give you a like one line review, what my thoughts are on this product. I don't wanna make this video super, super long, but I wanted to give you my thoughts on these products after having used them for, I can't remember exactly whether it's like nearly two months, but six to, six to eight weeks of only using these products other than when I've been filming a video. So shall we start with the cheek products? So for bronzers, I had three. I had the Maybelline City Bronzer, which was my favorite bronzer last year. And I still really loved it this um, past month or so. This was my most used bronzer. I love this. I'm going to be sad to put it away, but I want to try out some of the products, but highly, highly recommend this. I have it in the shade Warm 250. And I think you can probably see there is a I don't know if you can tell, but there's a dent in there. I also had the Hoola from Benefit. This is just a mini. I got some good use out of this also, but I would say it's probably just a, a bit pigmented. So on a day-to-day -day use, um, I would tend to use the Maybelline one. And if I was maybe doing my makeup for camera, I'd go in with this one. I do like this, just not as much as the Maybelline one. And then the third bronzer that I had was from Cian, which is Lidl's makeup brand. Um, this is all right, it's nothing special. I used it a couple of times. I would use it again, but it didn't get me excited. I've just turned my 
lighting down a little bit whilst I'm showing you the products so hopefully you can see them a bit better. So next up is blushes. The first one is this one from e.l.f. which is technically a highlighter, it's in the shade Shy, but I use this as a glowy blush. I think it's discontinued but it's beautiful, like look at the colour. It's a really pretty beautiful glowy blush. It looks really pink here but when you share it out super pretty. Next up is this loose blush from Bella Pierre. I I like this but it's effort. I'll show you inside. It's literally a loose blush. It's a pretty colour but you need the tiniest tiniest bit and it's just um, really inconvenient to be honest. So I didn't reach for this as much. I'm going to keep it in my collection because I did still enjoy it and it's the only loose blush I have but it's not my favourite product just for convenience purposes. Then I had two blushes from Colourpop. This is the first one. This is a pressed powder, bl pressed powder blush in Secret Crush. This is super pretty. It's really pigmented so you don't need a lot but it's just super super pretty. Like it's a really nice pink. Oh, you can see. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so really enjoyed this one. But this blush has probably been the find of the blushes for me. This is the Super, Super Shock Cheek Matte in Count Me In. And it is just so lovely. You can see that I have dug into this product. It's just a really pretty colour. And you don't need much and it just gives you a really nice rosy cheek so definitely recommend this and I want to get more shades if you have um tried a couple of these if you've got a really pretty like peachy pink shade to recommend please let me know on to my highlighters this has been a struggle for me because I have well you'll see when I pick my new products I have a whole drawer of highlighters I've got a little problem and it hurt me to just use three so I may increase the amount of highlighters that I'm allowed this month the first highlighter is the Brunch Club from um, Primark. This is well, well loved. I've used this so much since I've owned it for over a year. It is beautiful. I love it. It's a really good everyday highlighter for me. I can sheer it out quite a bit so um, that it's not too blinding for, say, if I'm going to work or so on, and it's just a really pretty shade. So I love, love that. This one is from Kiko. It's just a little baby one. It was like a Christmas limited edition in the shade Sparkling Holiday. I put this in because I thought that I didn't like it and I needed to just give it another go and declutter it, but I've fallen in love. <laughs> it is really pretty. It's another golden one you know me I love a gold highlight and now that I've gotten used to it look how pretty that is I think with this one I go in with a more dense um highlighter brush and that picks up the product much better and that's the way I've found that I like this using um my normal highlighter brush it doesn't work so well there's a bit of a theme here I have pretty much enjoyed everything in this drawer um so yeah I, it's been a very good month for me the third highlighter is the wet and wild highlighter in god this looks awful um blossom glow i rediscovered this um in a video during vlogmas and guys look at that it is a beautiful pink highlighter not overly pink but just a slight slight hint of pink and this is beautiful. I need to pick up more shades of this for sure because it is, oh, I've loved using this so, so much. Where should we go next? Should we do foundations? So I had four foundations this month. The first one is my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation which for a long time has been my favorite foundation I really struggle to make foundations work with my dry skin and even though this is full coverage and quite matte this works brilliantly but surprisingly I've not been using that this much because I have discovered 
well, should I say rediscovered the L'Oreal True Match. This used to be my favourite foundation years ago. And then when my skin got dry, it stopped working for me, but they've recently reformulated it and it's got hyaluronic acid in it. And this has been the foundation I've used the most. I can only use a sponge with foundations pretty much always but this foundation works with a brush for me so when I want to do my makeup really quickly and I don't want to get a sponge wet this is wonderful it's not super super full coverage but it's still got good coverage it's not super super matte but it's not like it doesn't look too dewy or oily on the skin I love this and I, th I think I'm going to get change out nearly everything in this drawer but I think I'm going to keep this for another month because for those days where I need a foundation that I know is going to work no matter what this is my go-to so I'm probably going to keep this in my drawer. Next up I have two foundations that I didn't use so much there's the Colourpop No Filter and the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. I don't know how I feel about this e.l.f. foundation. I think it's okay. It doesn't look the best. I wasn't reaching for it that much. Um, I could make it work, but it was a little bit drying on my skin. The Colourpop one, I don't know what happened here because I used it a couple of times at the beginning and I really liked it. I think it's just that I fell in love with this foundation so, so much that I just kind of forgot about the Colourpop one. But I do also enjoy this. It just didn't compare to the L'Oreal. Now, moving on to primers. I've said over and over again, I am not a big primer girl and I'm still not. I've used all these primers multiple, multiple times and I just don't really have an opinion. Like, they look nice on my skin. Maybe this one um, helps a little bit with hydration, but I'm just, I've never used a primer where I've been like, oh my goodness, that's changed everything. So I had the Natural Collection Hydrating, Hydrating and Radiance Primer, the Ciate Watermelon wa Watermelon Burst, and the Hydravail from Illamasqua, which is this kind of jelly product. And I just, I just don't have an opinion to give. Like, I think... I think they're all fine. I couldn't say whether I saw a difference or not, to be honest. So I'm just not sure these were the products to convert me into primers. So I'm going to change them because I've got a few new primers to try, but I'm still not being converted to the primer hype. I had three setting sprays. I had this one from Lacura, which is Aldi's brand, if my camera wants to focus. There we go. MAC Fix Plus, which is a classic. And then my favourite, favourite from Pixie. So I won't talk about this one too long because you guys have heard me probably go on and on. This is the Glow Mist. You can see I am almost out of it. I love it so, so much. I've got a backup ready, um, but I think I'm going to take it out of my drawer because I want to give other setting sprays a chance. I've used this one from Lacura a couple of times. It's fine. It's not magic, but it does the trick. The only problem is the mister on it is so harsh that like you can see it's literally dripping down my hand. So I do get soaked when using this. So I'm not a big fan of that, but it's fine and then fix plus i really like if i need a more dewy look if i'm looking a little bit dry this gives me a nice dewy look but my spritzer is a little bit it spits a bit like i don't know it oh, helps if i do it on camera um and in focus i don't know if you can see but it just it spits a bit so i'm not the biggest fan um of this but i think it's just a fault with mine because i've had a mini before and that wasn't a problem but again i really enjoy this i used probably these two the most but again I'm going to change these out and try something new. Now on to concealers. I had four but it's kind of technically three because I use these elf ones together. They're the camo concealer um uh, concealers <laughs> and I have hydrating and the original and I like to use a mixture of these two. They look really nice under the eye and these were my everyday concealer and before I did this draw and I thought it would be the same but actually I have been using the con collection lasting perfection concealer pretty much every time I do my makeup. I think the first time I tried this was on camera um well since it had been repackaged and I wasn't a big fan but I I don't know I've been converted <laughs> I have been using this pretty much every time I've done my makeup and I'm probably going to keep this just because I find 
um, base products, foundation, concealer, setting powder, really difficult to get right. So I'm going to keep one foundation, one concealer and one setting powder that I know just work for those days where I need my makeup to just work. And so I would have expected that I would be keeping the e.l.f. ones, but this has just taken place. So I'm going to be keeping this. And then I had the Lacura Radiant Concealer, which is, I think, a dupe for the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Um, this is okay. It was too dark to use under my eyes, though. So I've been using it as a bit of a spot concealer, and it works fine. It's nothing magical, but it's worked just fine. So yeah, all right, my concealer for the price. In fact, all my concealers are pretty, well, extremely affordable. Um, so yeah, okay, but nothing to run to the shop and buy it for. Setting powders, my arch nemesis. <laughs> this used to be my favorite setting powder of all time. It's the Revolution Pro Hydromat. There's not much in here. This is my like third one of these. Um, I put it in the drawer because I'd not used it for quite a long time and I wanted to see what I thought of it now. And I have to be honest, I haven't really used it that much. I've kind of neglected it. So for that reason, I think I'm going to keep it in the drawer just because I really didn't give it much chance this month and I I owe an old favourite a better a better try than I gave it. So that can stay. Before I started the drawer, this was my favourite setting powder. It's the Coconut Scented Baking Powder from I Heart Revolution. This was really the only powder I would use day to day. This was the powder. I mean, for how much I've used it, I can't believe how much is left. And for the first sort of couple of weeks of the drawer, this was the one I was using the most because I love it. But then came along the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder. Now I added this as a late addition to the drawer because I only had two setting powders. And when I tested it out, I thought we could add it to the drawer. I have been using this every day. I really, really like this. I'm going to keep this in the drawer for um, the next round because I'm still testing it out, but so far I am really, really, really enjoying this. So that is the powder that can stay. I'm keeping two powders, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> now, on to mascaras. Why? Tell me why I put five mascaras in here. Come on. <laughs> the mascara that I have used the most this month is the False Lash Lift from Maybelline. If I need a mascara that um, I just need to use really quickly and get a good, quick, instant effect, this is the one that I have been using. I love, love, love this mascara and I highly recommend it and I'm going to miss that. The Lash Freak from Urban Decay has been one that I use if I want extra stream lashes but I've got a bit more time because you kind of have to work with this. It's got the most random brush ever but it's not a quick fix. This is one that you have to build and separate and work with but once you do your lashes look insane. So this is a good one when I've got a bit more time. These two, um, I've got the Lancome Miss Your Big and Too Faced Better Than Sex. They're fine. There's nothing special. I wasn't reaching for them that much. Um, they're average is what I would say. I enjoyed them, but nothing special. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Mascara. I really, really like the way that this looks, but I find that it transfers, which is really, really annoying. So if they were to bring this out in a waterproof formula, I would be very, very tempted because I love the way my lashes look with this, but it does transfer. So just be warned of that. Okay, so <laughs> lip products. I had quite a lot of lip products because I just thought you need different lip options available for different looks and I used pretty much most of it. I didn't use my Huda Beauty um, Wedding Day lipstick. I don't know why. I think maybe because it was in this section because it doesn't fit um, in this lipstick holder. I kind of forgot about it. Um, but I did get some new colours of this formula. So maybe I'll put one of those in instead. It is a, a mini so it will fit. So that might make me pay more attention. But I love these lipsticks. I also had all four of my new Huda Beauty mini liquid lipsticks in here. Venus was my favourite shade of all time. But I really haven't been using it because I have fallen in love with this shade legend. I have used this over and over again. It is just everything, everything. I really want to keep this in the drawer, but if I do, 
I'm just going to keep reaching for it. So I am going to put it aside to give other things a chance. The two um, more dark brown shades I really didn't use either. I just reached for this one every time. I love this formula. This is my favourite liquid lipstick formula. Um, I just, I, it's so comfortable to wear. Relatively long lasting, but just not drying at all. I love these so, so much, but we need to let something else have a go. Again, from Huda. Huda featured heavily in this drawer. I've got the Demi Matte, and this is in the shade Shakira. This is such a weird, I mean, look, those colours are almost the same. Wow. This is a really weird formula. It's like a liquid lipstick, but it's glossy and shiny, but it's also, also like menthol-y, so it kind of tingles on the lips, but I've really been enjoying this. I cannot believe how similar those shades are, but this will dry down matte, whereas this one stays glossy. I've really been enjoying this, actually, so I may try out more of these shades um but yeah really enjoy that two products that i've not been so happy with are the anti-matter lipsticks from illamasqua i've got two shades this is meteor and that is a full size and then i've got a mini in the shade what is this bang little really tiny wee mini these are just they're that kind of like dry powder matte formula and I just don't find them to be the easiest to apply so I'm not the biggest fan of these to be honest pretty colors but not my favorite formula this is the matte me lipstick from sleek in the shade french fancy you all know I already love 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 this lipstick and I love the shade I just swatched it how beautiful is that come spring and summer these kind of colors I'm going to be living in so this will probably make another appearance come summer but it's really beautiful this is another lip that I've really not enjoyed and I'm quite tempted to declutter this this is from Colourpop it's the ultra blotted lip and I just I like a pigmented lipstick and I just don't enjoy this formula and also I find it really drying on the lips it is a really pretty color but it's just not what I'm going for and I just don't enjoy the formula then I have this lipstick from Colourpop it's super bloom and it's the velvet blur formula the color guys the color is beautiful I think I used this once or twice I didn't give it enough love but I think it's just not been the right time so I think I might pop this away until summer because this is going to look beautiful in the sun and then lastly <sighs> I have been using these products combined. It's the Lippy Pencil from Colourpop in the shade Another Round and Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick in Pillow Talk. This is going to pain me to say, but this is not all it's cracked up to be. Sure, it is a beautiful shade. It is, but it just doesn't have any staying power on the lips, in my opinion. I have really been enjoying doing this and then popping the Fenty lip gloss on top which is kind of probably should have just been in my drawer I've kept reaching for it throughout the month or um, well, throughout the two months they make a really pretty combo but it just fades so quickly I just don't find that this has the staying power so I'm just not sure that I'm on the Charlotte Tilbury lip hype but I think I'm going to keep this in a little bit longer because I just want to keep playing with it because people love it so so much that I'm not ready to give up so that can stay but the rest of my lip products are going to get swapped out I have this eye primer from Gerard Cosmetics I kind of forgot about this I'm not going to lie I didn't really use it so that's going to stay I don't really use eye primers I use concealer but I've heard so much about this I want to give it a proper chance so moving on to palettes which is always the most exciting part to me <laughs> um the first palette is the mint to be palette from Colourpop now I have to admit I haven't actually used this this is brand new to my collection I've only ever swatched it and the reason I've not used it is because I put it in my drawer and then I decided I wanted to use it in a testing makeup video and I haven't filmed that yet so I haven't used it but I'm going to put it away until I do that um testing video or maybe I'll just keep it in this drawer because otherwise I'll forget about it I'm going to keep it in this drawer but that is coming in a video soon also from Colourpop is the Sweet Talk palette this has been my most used palette. I have loved this. I can do a really pretty light look for work or I can go in deep and dark and sultry. I, oh guys, this palette is everything. I am obsessed with it. I do not want to put it away, but I'm going to, to give other things a chance, but I cannot recommend this palette enough. It is just, oh, 
stunning. <laughs> These two palettes from Nabla I put in here because I've never really given them much attention um, and uh, let me show you them. I've got the Wild Berry which looks like this and then I've got the um, Metropolitan which looks like this. I haven't used this one, I'm not gonna lie. The colour story, I don't know why I bought this, I thought I wanted it but I just don't. Um, the colour story I didn't make work. I may declutter this one at some point. This palette I did manage to make a look out of once, which was really nice. There's some really pretty, like, that's like a duo tone. Like, you, you can see when it, let me do a better swatch than that. When it hits the light in different ways, it is a different colour. Can you see it's more orange there and then it shifts to like a blue shade. So I did manage to make a really pretty look with this palette. Um, so if I'm only going to keep one it'll definitely be this one but the Metropolitan I've just not managed to use. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes. I love this palette. This is a beautiful neutral palette. I tend to stick more towards this end of the palette but it is beautiful. The mattes in this are so, so buttery. I love this so, so much. This is the Roxy palette from Revolution. Well, it's one of the Roxy palettes. This is the Colour Burst. I've only used this once, I'm not gonna lie, so I can't really formulate an opinion on it too much, but I enjoyed the look that I made. I think I had too many eyeshadow palettes in here, to be honest. I might try and reduce the amount of eyeshadow palettes I put in next time, um, but yeah, it was pretty. I just haven't used it enough. Same with this palette, the Tasty Peach from My Heart Revolution. I used, oh, I can't open it. Come on. Ugh. I used this once and I liked the look, but I've got other pink palettes that I like more. So in the future, this may get decluttered, but I do want to give it a bit more attention first, but just these two just didn't pull me. And the last palette that I have is the Mercury Retrograde from Huda Beauty and I've got some good use out of this. This is beautiful. Admittedly I've really stuck around this end of the palette. I really want to play with these blues a little bit more. I think I tried once and it kind of just failed and I never went back but this blue is just so pretty. I need to play with it more, but this is gorgeous. I love this so, so much. The one thing I would say though is I have to be careful which like product I use underneath this because this does crease quite easily for me. So I use like a matte concealer and then powder it down and that works better. But if I use anything a bit more oily or a bit more greasy, this will um, crease. So just something to bear in mind, but I can make it work. So now the fun bit, I'm going to pop back the products from last month and replace them with new products to try for the next month or so and you can also have a little bit of a look into my drawers. I am about 70% happy with the way that my makeup is stored. It isn't perfect but makeup storage is so expensive so I'm happy with what I've managed to work out. So I'm popping back three concealers so let me pick out three to replace them with. I want to take out the um, Born to Glow concealer from NYX because I want to play with that some more. What else? This one from Iconic is too dark to use under my eyes but could be quite good for spot concealing so I'm going to take that one. And then one more. I'm going to take this one from uh, Revolution, the Conceal and Define Infinite, because I don't think I like it and I want to give it some proper testing so I can decide whether I'm going to declutter it. Next to setting sprays, I'm putting back three so I can pick three. Um, what do I want? I might pick the Smashbox Primer Water because I've nearly finished it and I want to get that finished off. I'm going to go for this NYX Dewy Finish, so I've got a more dewy one. And this new one from Kiko, the Face Makeup Fixer. I'm not sure about this already. If you saw my vlog at the weekend, you'll know that I wasn't a big fan, but I really want to test this out and see if I can make it work. So I'm going to pick those three. Then for primers, I can pick out three again. So I think I want to try this hydrating one from Sleek. Um, this from um, Good Molecules is the um, priming moisturizer. I've got a little sample, so I want to try that. And then... 
I might try this one because this seems like a glowy one. This is the Skin Illuminator from number seven, so I might give that a go. Next, we've got my foundation and powder drawer. So I'm going to test out this new powder that I've got from Kiko. It's the Matte Fusion. This is a pressed powder, so I'm going to try that. And then I might get one more setting powder. I want to try this out. I used to use this a long time ago. It's the Match Perfection from Rimmel. It's really old, you can tell. But I want to give this another go and see if I like it or whether I should declutter it. In terms of foundations, I'm putting back three. So I want to try the um, Huda Beauty foundation more. I tested this recently and I thought it was okay, but not great. I'll link that in the cards for you in case you want to see. Um, is my camera too, is it too dark? Is that better? Um, but I want to give this more of a try. So I'm going to take that one. Um, hmm. I want to give this a go from Revlon. I think it may be a tiny bit too dark, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, it's the Photo Ready Candid Foundation. So I want to give that a proper testing. And then maybe something a bit more light coverage. Maybe this one. This used to be my favourite foundation quite a while ago now. It's the Bourjois Healthy Mix um, foundation. So I might give this another go. So I've just tried to zoom you in a bit more. This is my blush and bronzer um, drawer and I've got some palettes, um, face palettes at the back there. Um, but I can't open the drawer properly because of where my tripod is. But they are there. So... I'm putting back three bronzers, so let me pick through your placements. I definitely want to um, pick this one from Kiko. It is just, look at that. Oh, hello. There is my face with no makeup on. Um, I think that this is beautiful. The packaging is insane. It is huge. So, so huge. So I definitely want to try this out more. Then I think the NARS, um, is this the Laguna bronzer? I want to give this some more testing. This is just a mini version. And then I think the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula, because look at that, I need to finish this because look how much pan is showing. So I think they're going to be my bronzers. For blush, I definitely need this one from Kiko. Look, look, I mean, come on. How beautiful is that? So that for sure. Um, did I have four blushes? Wow, I was generous with the blushes. What about one of these e.l.f., what are they called? The primer infused blushes. I've got three. I might go for this one, which is called Always Silly. Let me open it up. I can't open it. Ugh. Which looks like this, sort of a deeper pink kind of shade. So I'll go for that. Then, what else do I want? Hmm. Maybe one of these revolution ones. I've got two. Let's go for this one, which is more of a pink shade. Then one more. My Georgia blush from um, Benefit because I'm not a big fan of this and I want to see if I can make it work. It's just a mini. So that'll be my blush. So this is the drawer of dreams. I always wanted a drawer dedicated to highlighters and yeah, I have that. <laughs> these are my highlighters, my highlighting powder um, palettes, and these are more like stick, jelly, liquid formulas. So I only had three last time, but I'm going to give myself four because I was being mean. So first of all, the Soul Body Highlighter in Soft Pink. This is oh, just the most beautiful thing. That needs to come out. Hmm. Something more golden. What about this? Oh my goodness, this is an oldie. This is the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. This was my first like more high-end highlighter because everybody raved about this and I've not used it in so long. So let's go with that. Um, then, what do we want? Hmm. I kind of want to test out this one from Kiko. It's a jelly highlighter and I mean, come on, look at that. So we'll go with that one. What do we want? <sighs> I'm trying to go for something that I don't normally reach for to give myself a chance to really test it out. What about this Natasha Denona Blush and Glow? I know it's got a blusher in it as well, but I've just not really used it enough. And I think it's more subtle, so that would be good for, yeah, more subtle work days. So let's go with that one. This is my 
mascara eye product drawer. So I've got all my glitters and liners in here, but I don't use those very often. So I didn't put these in my everyday makeup drawer. It's just if I want them, they're here. However, my mascaras, I have a problem with mascaras. <laughs> um, so I took out five, which is too many, way too many. I think I'm gonna allow myself to have three. What three though? Hmm. I'm gonna test out two that I'm not sure on and one that I know works. So I'm gonna take my Lash Princess from Essence. This is a tried, tested and true so that I've got one that I know works. Then for testing, I wanna test out the Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home and this tiny wee baby Fenty um, sort of sample that I've got so I can give that a go. So we are back in the drawer. I have also picked out my palettes and my lip products, but um, I did that off camera because it's a little bit chaotic. You've seen my palette storage before um, and it's just not in the best state at the moment. It needs a little bit of a tidy, so um you have to kind of like dig through things to find what you need so i just picked the lips and eyeshadow palettes off camera because i just thought that would be easiest so let me show you the palettes that i got so it's a bit more chunky in terms of palettes this month so i'm not entirely sure how it's all gonna fit i've got two palettes that i'll show you really quickly but you'll see them in my vlog which goes up not this saturday next saturday but i got two palettes from kaleidos i got the um collaboration that they did with angelica one of my favorite youtubers who i'll link below this is the club nebula and honestly guys have you ever seen something so beautiful in your life like look at that i think I think, I think, I think I want to do a three looks, one palette video with this. I just need to know if you're interested in seeing that. Um, so if you want to see me do three different looks with this palette, let me know because I do want to make that video. And I also got the Escape Pod, which is their other big palette. Like the packaging is just insane. Um, and this one is a more pinky bright palette so i'm gonna pop these both in because they are brand new and honestly i haven't been this excited about a palette as i have about this one in a long time so i think they will just we'll see how they fit when i get <laughs> more palettes in i have also picked out the warrior palette by juvia's place because i thought i needed something more neutral and bronzy and i haven't played with this enough then for something a bit more golden and still quite neutral, um, I've got the, uh -huh, not the uh-huh honey, the <laughs> Urban Decay um, honey, which is relatively new to me and I just haven't um, played with it enough. So I've got that one. I've also picked out the Natasha Denona um, Sunrise palette because I've not had enough chance to play with this. She is a beautiful palette. So I'm very excited to play with this more as it gets warmer. And then lastly, I picked out one less palette than I had before. This is the Flutterby for I Colourpop. I've not had a chance to play with this yet. I did have to repress this shadow sadly, um, but I thought that could be quite fun to play with. So I'll just show you the lip products and then I'll organise everything, time lapse it and that should be it. Oh, also, <laughs> I do have a sneaky highlighter to um, add to the pile. This is from Kaleidos. This is the Ray Rider highlighter. I haven't actually tried this yet, but I know that I'm going to want to try this throughout the month. So it looks like this really pretty peachy golden highlight. So I'm going to be sneaky and add this one in. So for lips, I've picked out a couple of bullet lipsticks. So I've got the one of Soph's um, collaboration lipsticks with Revolution. This is in Cake, which is really, really pretty. I've got MAC in Marrakesh, which is like a bricky reddish brown. I've got the Huda um, matte lipstick in Interview which is a really pretty nude shade. And I've got one of the Colourpop, is it Lux lipsticks in Uno Mass, which is a really pretty um, sort of pinkier brown nude, <laughs> all the nudes. Um, I've got, I guess these are kind of um, sort of lipsticks as well. This is the one of the lippy sticks from Colourpop in the shade Aftershock. It is broken, so I do have to beware that the lipstick doesn't fall out, but that's really pretty, a bit more pinky again. And then even more pinky, I've got this Superstay um, 
ink crayon you know that my second favorite um liquid lipstick is the super stays so i wanted to try out the crayon formula i have got a super stay and this is in a beautiful red shade what is this one um 320 then three more i've got this one from nars this is in the shade slow ride is it one of the power pigments is that what it's called um lip pigment power matte but it's just a really pretty brown shade i've got this more purple one from suva beauty this is one of those um sort of more shiny liquid lipsticks like it's got a bit of gloss to it but it's really pigmented and then finally i've got um an anastasia beverly hills mini in uh, dazed i had three minis i tried this one and i gave the other two away because i hated the formula that much but that was a long time ago now so i want to retry this so let me organize this drawer and then i'll show you the finished product Okay, so this is how the drawer is looking and I am not happy with it. I have chosen some bigger, bulkier things this month and I need to clear out my lip balms um, here at the back so that I can make some more room because this is not an aesthetically pleasing looking drawer, but everything's in. I definitely have less products in this section here. Um, so I'm happy about that. I think it's gonna be more realistic, but this is just not currently working. I do have some more like container storage coming from Ikea at this weekend. So I might have to play around with this a little bit because at the moment I'm not all that happy. But everything is in this drawer and I can't wait to try um, properly testing everything out over the next sort of month or two. And then, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, I can do that again, report back on these products and pick some new products out. So that is everything for this video. You'll have to let me know if you've enjoyed this video, because if you have, I could make this into a series and report back in a month or two on these products, because I'm always happy to talk to you guys about makeup, because you know I love it. I just need to know if you guys want to see it so if you want me to make this into a series let me know but that's it if you've enjoyed this video if you could give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and i'll see you next time bye i'm trying to wave at you but it's a weird angle bye <laughs>